Hello. In this video, I'm going to solve the following problem for you. This is a problem on the topic of complex numbers basics. Let A, B, and C, and D be real numbers such that A plus B I to the fifth power is equal to C plus D I. Prove that B plus A I to the fifth power is equal to D plus C I. That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. Okay, so now let us solve the problem here. So the problem is an interesting problem. It tells you that apparently it's a little bit counterintuitive because this tells you that if this is granted, then you can flip A and B and C and D, the equality still holds. Of course, the trick is not just thinking about flipping A and B, it's flipping I from its position next to B to a position next to A. So that is the trick. And it uses this fact that you know that if I have uh, 1 over I, this can be written as 1 over I multiplied by I over I, and it becomes uh, I over I squared, but i squared is minus 1, so it becomes minus i. So what we have is 1 over i is equal to minus i. So that is the property that I want to exploit here. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So I will factor this i out, and then what is left here, don't look at 5 yet. I'm factoring i out, so this becomes a over i. And then this becomes b. Of course, I have the fifth power now. I can do the same thing here. I can factor an i out. Then it becomes c over i, and then plus d. Okay, but as I told you there, a over i can be viewed as a times 1 over i, but 1 over i is negative i, so it becomes negative a i. And the same is true for c over i, it becomes negative c i. Okay, but if I want to write it, I will write it like this. So this b I write first because I want to write it in a standard form. So this is now the real part. a over i becomes minus a i, so I put it here. And of course, I still have, I have the fifth power. And I will do the same thing here. So I have this i there, I write d first. And c over i, for that same reason, it becomes minus ci. But because this is a product to the fifth power, I can write the first one to the fifth power, multiplied by the second one to the fifth power. So this is i to the power of 5, b minus ai to the power of 5, is equal to i d minus ci. But i to the power of 5, can be viewed as i to the power of 2 to the power of 2 times i, but i squared is minus 1, minus 1 to power 2 is positive 1, so the answer becomes i. Okay, so this is indeed nothing except i, so this i on the left and that i on the right, they can be cancelled. And what is left for me is b minus a i to the power of 5 equals to D minus C I. Okay, and I don't need the pair of brackets. So it becomes D minus C I. So you see, at least I succeeded to interchange the role of B and A, okay? But the problem is that now, I, instead of having a positive sign that I need, I have a negative sign. This probably indicates what to use, and that is the conjugation, because this d minus ci is the conjugate to d plus ci, and b minus ai is also conjugate to b plus ai. So I want to exploit another property of uh, the complex numbers in, uh, for conjugation. So we know that if I have a complex number, if I raise this complex number to a natural power, say n, and then it becomes a new complex number, what I can conjugate that new complex number. But it can be shown that there is no difference. Instead of raising to power n and then conjugate, 
you can conjugate first and then raise that new number to power n. This is a very simple but important property of conjugation. Okay, so now what I will do, I would say that this complex number is equal to that complex number. So it means the conjugate of this is equal to the conjugate of that. So I will do that here. Uh, so it becomes b minus ai to the power of 5 conjugate, and then it becomes d minus ci conjugate. The conjugate of the right-hand side is just simply d plus ci, and because of that property, I can interchange these two operations. Instead of raising to power 5 and then conjugate, I first conjugate and then raise to power 5. But conjugate of this is simply b plus ai and to the power of 5, and then this becomes d plus ci, and that's exactly what we are supposed to prove. Okay? Uh, so I think that was a simple problem, but it has a novel idea in it, how to work with conjugations and how to exploit 1 over i to b minus i in action. I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.